Do we do? Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face, that ain't what it's gon' be. That ain't what it is. Who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. That's me. Who the fuck said they better than me? me. Say it to my face, that ain't what it's gon' be. Who the, who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. Yo, we gon' start with a pause up first. Let's go. Mm -hmm. This is courtesy. Mm -hmm. Find the sign. Who the, who the, who the fuck said they better than me? Nick, talking about ATM or you talking about AT? Actually, I'm the same person that you gon' see. Uh, everywhere in the streets, I've been like this since I was three. Cold as motherfucking hell like a freezer in the oven. And what the fuck that mean? Who knows what? I'm still stuck in a... I just want to keep spitting up. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's just fine. Yeah. Go, go. Cause y'all deserve some good bars. Yeah. I appreciate all y'all out there. Who oh, the, who the, who the fuck said they better than me? Huh. Say it to my face, but like that what it won't be. Who the, who the, who the, who the, who the, who the, who the fuck said they better than y'all? Same nigga with this motherfucking show, dog. Bang. 18 a professional, worldwidewilding.com. I am KamaniKim.com because I am. You're watching Kimchi TV. And it's all on Mr. IDIA. Bang. Oh, bang. Welcome to the world, people. How you doing? How you living? How you loving life? Are you loving more? Are you feeling all right? I hate less. Yes. What's the deal, man? Come on, Kim. I dropped the motherfucking Love More Project a couple weeks ago. We did some debut action, played some joints from there, and it's been popping. Do you see these pop tractors? Pop eyes, nigga. Ba -ba -ba. Shout out to Mr. Dick. These are actually his, and I'm just rocking them. But I dropped the Love More, excuse me, a few days before, and it was pretty fucking cool, man. Getting a great response so far. Shout out to Alphonse Wolf, man, for once again producing that dope ass project for me. Very cohesive. Very unified sound that represents some times in my life when I was down. But you can relate, so go ahead, don't hate, press play. So that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to play a few more cuts from there. A few more public issues that are going on in the uh, entertainment world I want to touch on just a little bit. And then we're going to maybe get into some Facebook posts, see what people's talking about, give a late birthday shout to Bad Liver Jones, fuck your couch, nigga. Yeah, it's my homie, man, supporter. He puts his money where his mouth is, man. He's the dude who gave me these. Anybody that ever comes by, you see these dope-ass ghosters? Bad Liver did that, you know what I'm saying? It's my homie, man. He shows and proves. He supports me in everything I do. So I love that. You feel me now? So there's a few things, like I said, we're going to talk about today. Mostly, <laughs> why it's so fucking hot in here. But it's always, you know what, it's, it's just come to be that this is what it is. You guys just accept it for what it is. Damn, sometimes it may be, sometimes you feel like AC, sometimes you don't. Every day I want it though. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get into a few intros, talking to a few people, see what's going on, and then we'll go from there. Actually, let's start out with Andrew's Travis post. <laughs> he shared an old thread. Now, mind you, I, I can tell he was joking, at least a little bit by the dialogue. I hope he was joking. <laughs> he had this Ja Rule greater than symbol Jay-Z. I fucking, you wouldn't believe the comments in there. It was bananas. And Andrews is like, I'm only speaking the truth. I'm only speaking the truth. And then he said, he asked me for a listening session. And I had to put in a where's jaw rule when you need him type of meme or something there. It was pretty good. You know, I actually think I saw you, Andrews, man, at the fucking, what was it? The show that Metaphorical performed at. And I was like, is that him? And I didn't know because I was watching the show. And then before I knew it, you had dipped out. So, yeah, if you were meant like a listening session, come by to the studio. By all means, sir, you're more than welcome to. For sure. But, uh, yeah, we need to link up. I thought I saw you, though. It could be, it could be not. Who knows? But yeah, that was pretty funny ass shit that was going on today. You feeling me now? Shout out to Renee Langs, Chris Rage. That's Chris Kim. Banks, sir. 
You know what I'm saying? A few other folks. They said many friends can't support you publicly because about how they talked about you privately. Bang. You feel me now? Bruh. Yep. Liver, matter of fact, said, yep, bruh, they fake as fuck, man. Shit happens, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been going through this shit my whole life. My whole life. Niggas just waiting to get on stage. Like, I remember back when I was first starting producing and I was producing other artists' material. Even if it wasn't me on stage, people just want to, yeah, let me get on stage. That's why rap shows, side chicken, that's why rap shows are so whack now. Because you got motherfuckers on stage who don't even know your raps. Like, it'd be different if you had the whole crew up there spitting and chanting your shit and everybody switching doing ad-libs like on some creative shit. You got niggas up there just like... Doing nothing. Worthless. Not worthless in the sense of people and value, but worthless in the sense of business performance. It sucks. You, you don't... Putting on your block like that, it makes it look big, but you understand that when you're doing a show, you want the eyes on you. You don't want distractors up there. I don't even like rapping with a hype man. I don't even like being a hype man. I really don't. Ben asked me all the time to do a hype man. Even you can see in the video for his show that I was there, I just did my little verse, spit my shit in the corner. Because what I'm supposed to do? I could dance in this chair. My mama taught me that there. But I ain't about to get up there and start grooving. And fucking what I'm supposed to do with my hands. That's the weirdest shit. That's why I don't really like performing that much. The fuck do I do with my hands? <laughs> I don't know. I have no problem public speaking. Like I've said before, I took Toastmasters in fourth grade. So that shit ain't nothing, okay? But you feel me now? Side chickened all that for some goodness. Shout out to Nicholas Michael and David Hawkins. They shared that post right there. Bang to y'all two for doing that. And you know it's true. And you know you want to. <laughs> And you know what? I forgive you. Nicholas Michael says, I forgive you. And I forgive them too, sir. Way to put that. Way to have a kind, open heart. Love more, hate less. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get into some of this dope shit. Because I will have some more I want to talk about on my posts. But we're going to get into that a little bit later. Because honestly, I'm going to do myself a favor and play some shit. Oh, another side chick, shout out to ID and the rest of them that are doing the summer tour. I forget the rest of y'all fellas. I know it's Arena and a few of the fellas. I don't even know. I just know ID's kicking ass, taking names, and he's rocking the custom ass bill that I made all around the country, putting up stickers everywhere. You feel me now? So you gotta love that shit. I'm gonna play this Power Trip featuring 2 Calf. And you know what's so cool about this song? Before it even starts, let me stop it. What's cool about this is like he when we first did this song, Wolf sent me the beats, okay? And he sent me them and was like, okay, man, you know, uh, da, 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 this is what I, I just made these beats custom for you. I was thinking about these. But like a, a month prior, he hit me up out of the blues like, man, I didn't know he knew 2 Calf because I knew 2 Calf through Ron Loke. Like, man, if you do music out here and you're in the 5% of black people you, or sports, you know everybody. So anyway, I knew him through Ron Loke. And I was like, yeah, I know 2Cap. I heard his new shit, and he's like, he was asking me about it. He's like, yeah, he's dope, man. I want to work with him one day. Bang, nigga. Motherfucking went ahead and put him on the power trip. And he finished, he explained, his verse was an explanation of what I was kind of talking about in more of a, in his style. In, in terms that were fucking palatable to a different palette. And I love it. Because it's some motherfucking dope ass shit. Excuse me for leaking over here, but it's fucking hot, man. They got, I got two fans going on. AC's fucking with me. Whatever. I do work. You met you. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, but you just said you have freedom. Here's my book. What if you have freedom? People don't let you do anything. The easy part is speaking from the heart. The difficulty come in when they don't play their part. Try something different, man. Don't pretend that you're trying to fit in. Go for the unexpected win. The easy part is speaking from the heart The difficulty come in when they don't play their part Try something different, man Don't pretend that you're trying to fit in Go for the unexpected win I'm surrounded by an abundance of options to get it popping Plenty holes in the water with super fake confidence Now figure me crazy for thinking love was gonna save me Tried and failed and tried and failed again My cell almost got a hole in it Feel like my soul got kicked in So I kicked it out 
to save me a case and save her face Cause Not violence won't solve shit Holes in the I water with no fishing for compliments So oblivious to nonsense The only constant was pressure Like gravity Didn't say two words and she mad at me We'll get to step and pack like power trip All you lazy part of speaking from the heart The difficulty come in when they don't play their part Try something different real Don't pretend that you're trying to fit in Go for the unexpected win Power trip The easy part of speaking from the heart The difficulty come in Yourself. What? I, I live mean, here. for real. I mean, oh, you're always in the studio. You're but never here. I live here. I'm right oh, next. You are never here. Your body's here, but you go in the you studio. You me. Are we doing this? My stu- what? And, and Excuse you? Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm always by myself. I don't live here. I'm right next enough. door. I That's love what you. My problem is. I love you. You don't love me enough. Are you, enough? Are you shitting me? More. You're fucking. You good. didn't even notice that I got my hair. Oh, wow. I got goosebumps. That shit was so real in the book. I was like, ah, ah. Piss, nigga. Me and Wolf. Why can't every woman crazy. be like Sandra from the Cosby's? Probably. Gina from Martin. I beg your pardon. Dolly, jolly like St. Nick misses. Give me kisses. My sport and order. That thing like delicious. Now she don't have to do the dishes. I cook it clean. Run my bath water. She don't need to crease my jeans. Just stick to your position as a member of the team. Achieve all your goals and accomplish all your dreams. But it seems lately that crazy one to sneak up out the closet. Every man hating sitcom. She sit calm and watch it. Stop it if you think that shit the norm. I'm willing to make changes, compromise, not conform. You watch too much Tyler Perry, which is scary, cause you think that shit is ordinary. On the contrary, that's a movie, dear. You can have it all. Get a lawyer, go ahead, sue me, dear. Penny for your thoughts, please take it as a souvenir. You get on my nerves, but I'm in love with you, curves. You're my type of woman, my type of lady, with my type of problems, my type of crazy, my type of no, crazy. All you ever do is assume and complain. I'm out doing my thing. You think I'm screwing some game. It's a shame that we're here now. Real love, hate relationships. So have a good day. Through pace around my own place and shit. Replacement chicks was not on my radar. Gave it the fast life to build one with her and stay, y'all. But what's the limit I'm supposed to take? See just what my ex went through with my bullshit. Now I'm supposed to fake it until I make it. But my mind's made up, the piper paid, but all of a sudden the rings do. Moved in the crew to crash and helped me through this rough patch. Thought she was my type of crazy. But I'm the only one that's diagnosed, baby. So hasta la vista, I did love cold pizza. But you refused to get the toppers and help us to keep it popping. Some inside shit, that's real life spit. Every single woman's crazy, side chicken, baby. You get on my nerves, but I'm in love with you, curves. You're my type of woman, my type of lady, with my type of problems. My type of crazy, my type of crazy you driving me to drink and drive with my eyes closed. I know you're my necessary pain, so I take you in vain. Snorting lies of the flame, the residue is residual. Paints a pretty picture, but it's not the visual. On the brain. highway to heaven, you stopped at a 7-Eleven. Split nachos with a reverend, no better time than the present. 
Pay your tithes, kill the crazy inside. Second down, swallow your pride. That's all you get if we you argue, pride. we laugh. You get mad, we open the scabs. Throwing jabs, I'm not made whether I can only die so much. So what? You are not the chip from scandal. This ain't working out, but that's our love, man. <laughs> crazy is a relative term. In the school of life, guess you live and you learn. Don't be concerned with them old bridges that burn. Let the light be your way. Cure to find a brighter day. And old chicks in them jackets are stray. Fuck can I say? You get on my nerves, but I'm in love with your curves. You're my type of woman, my type of lady. You're my type of problems, my type of crazy. My type of crazy. I'm at the I ain't even scared. Hey, Wolf, man, I can't do this shit no more, man. I can't, man. Of course, old girl. Who do you think, man? What do you think I'm talking about? Hey, homeboy, this your type of crazy. Man, there's no such thing, man. There's no such thing. No, you're definitely crazy. But girl, some shit. That's your type of crazy. Yeah, oh, I hear you talking, bro. But what does that mean, man? Man, these days we gotta go alone and get along. Nah, man. Nah, man. Fuck that shit, dog. I love this much as I could. I ain't got the Dr. Phil hat on today. I ain't the man's coach, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And? What do you want me to do? What do you expect me to do, man? Hey, my nigga, that's your type of crazy, dog. You gotta put up with this. Whatever, man. Well, you know what, what my fuck nigga? Up. I ain't got no advice for you, but check okay. this out. Fuck your beard, nigga. Oh. Bang, nigga. Fuck <laughs> out this nigga. Yeah! And then we go right into that moving on shit. I may play that a little later. That's my favorite shit off the album. I honestly got real, real in there. I dropped names just to show it's real from the soul. Anywho, like a Japanese dude, yo, 50 Cent recently filed for bankruptcy, and I'm not going to be a chatty patty, as Dame Dash would say, but what I would like to speak on is the whole concept of rappers so-called fronting when they don't have it. 50 Cent was in court, Forbes said he has three, uh, $150 million, he said he had $4 million according to his attorneys. He went in there, recently lost the lawsuit today. Okay, he lost that shit, has to pay $7 million, an additional $2 million to the five that he was already, that Rick Ross is, huh, baby mama, I need my mama's mo mommia, mo sex tapia. <laughs> anyway, she ended up getting $7 million out the deal. So in the long run, Rick Ross won. 50 Cent didn't crush Ross's career like Ja Rule's. It actually strengthened his shit. And he fucking got his baby mama $7 million, franchise of Wingstops, and he's fucking still on fire just as much as it is in here with leather attire. Yair. So that was just my whole thing, because I hate it when rappers want to pull this double standard bullshit, and then this leads in great to another segue. Rappers always want to be like, oh, this is my real life, we reporters, we talking from the street, we just reporting what we see and all that. And hold on. If you're a journalist, know what a journalist does. Objective reporting. You're not putting yourself in first person. You're strictly reporting what's going on. A lot of the times in these rap videos and music, people sit out here and try to say it's first person. So they're mixing the create. Okay, well then they want to say, well then I'm just being creative. I'm just being an artist. It's not my real life. I'm just creating. Yo, we cannot have it both ways. You just got to say this is off the jump, but then rap, then they won't believe you. So it comes down to, it's a fucking, rap is like one big fashion show, like a high-end fashion show, with a bunch of shit that you can never wear in real life, because if you try to wear that shit out in real life, you'd be like, man, this is not my real life, I do this on the runway, I'm a model, you feel me? And then it fucking... You start popping on the street, then you be like, yeah, this is real life. We do this. Shut up, man. What the fuck are we talking about in life? You feel me now? I don't know. I hate that shit. I fucking hate that. Because then that leads right into, like I said, these rappers being authentic. Being like, oh, well, you write your own raps. You don't write your own raps. Some of the greatest, most popular hip-hop tracks were fucking ghostwritten. Cool. Well, guess what? Big Bang Hank is not considered the greatest MC. Motherfucking Dr. Dre is not even considered an MC, okay? And then you go to the MC, the rapper, all that shit. No, these are performers. They do what they do. I don't care. Honestly, I just know that I spit what I feel and I go through, and I can't imagine somebody writing my actual life. Now, maybe if there's a song that's dope and they come up with some parts, 
some hook actions or some few lines here. We bouncing, talking about some shit. I don't need right tears. I might bounce ideas, but only I can come up with some shit like this. You remember that Kanye off Barry Bonds? Come to find out, Kendrick sent him the whole reference track for the all day, nigga. And fucking <laughs> French Montana did the motherfucking hook. So Kanye just performed it. So it's honestly, this is actually a good thing. It's a good thing. Now rap is coming. Rap, we held it so close to our heart. And I'm going to shorten this up in a 15 minute second segue to be able to say this main point. But we have held rap so close to our heart and it was just ours. And you got to imagine this art form has only been, it's still in its infancy, maybe 30, 40 years. You feel me now? I watched a documentary today, Super Side Chicken, that was talking about way before Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster Flowers, fucking DJ Hollywood, they were talking about some niggas that I, man, that I've never heard of. And these were the guys that put the guys that we heard of, that put the guys that they heard of on. You feel me now? I'm like, what this, 68? 68, 72? These niggas playing disco, they talking about sound systems that's crazy, like, Yo, I got side chicken to say all that. Why? Let me get my thought track back. Hold on, reel it back. Because it's not authentic, man. And people want to, you just can't, my whole point to all that is you just got to, I can't picture myself saying some other body's raps. But if it's your own song, then cool. Oh, okay, here we go. This rap is still in its infancy. We're still a young genre of music. So the simple fact that people are accepting it and embracing it as it is, is cool. Yo, we're not in a position of power as a black people right now to be able, not even a position of power over others, but of self-power of our own destiny to be able to uh, regulate if people like our shit or not, who can say shit or not, and fucking who can play shit or not. You feel me? Sometimes, man, I feel like the black race is like the crazy fucking girlfriend, man. You love me. Okay, you love me. And then would you, you fucking leave me alone? You fucking don't like me. You fucking get off me too much. You're like, I think, but I know why we're that way. So I'm not completely excusing what we do. And I'm not completely uh, just going to discount what, what has been done to us. I know why we're like that. Psychological fucking torture and genocide does shit like that to people. And racists. Okay, Planned Parenthood recently just got busted or they tried to bust them on some faulty videos saying they're selling human tissues and all that shit. And people are debating how bad that would be if they're selling fetuses, dead fetuses for research. Well, let's go back to why Planned Parenthood was even fucking started in the urban communities was as a population control device for eugenics. Mar Margaret Singer and fucking a few of the Rothschilds and the, and the Rockefellers was in the eugenics <laughs> Shut up, man. My offer 21. Check it out. That's all I'm going to say. Because if you really gave a fuck and you're not just going to sit here and change your profile picture and fucking rally when shit is all bad. Yo, I feel bad for Sandra. They got uh, that whatever circumstances definitely sound faulty in that jail. I feel bad for that situation and circumstance because it could be any of us. And definitely the cop was out of line provoking a situation, trying to make a situation occur to where he can assert his power. I hear that shit. I see that shit. I see that shit. So you know what? I all, That goes back to my other points. You know what? It's fucked up. We got to keep talking about it. Got to make it relevant. You know? And it's not actually acting surprised. It's okay. We got to create an economic base. The only way you... We try to hurt... These other races with names, calling them names, calling them out for calling us names and shit. That shit does not cripple people. You need to hit them in the pockets financially. Go on a boycott. If we're the most, if we're the race that spends the most as consumers, then we fucking need to show our economic power. Let's do some pooling of resources. Holy shit. Like, there's a lot to talk about. <clears throat> because if you keep trying to bust Hulk Hogan for calling people nigger, Yo, he's fucking 61 years old. I'm sure he's not the only 61-year-old that says nigger. He may be a famous person and so-called has a responsibility, but then that can't be both ways too. This, is a, this society as a whole in this country runs on a double-edged sword. 
Like we fucking walk on a double-edged sword through life. Like it's crazy. And it's not even just race relations, it's everything, my nigga. Every fucking thing, dude. So they now they're Hulk Hogan's talking this racist shit because his daughter's dating a black man, but he's not a fucking rich enough black man, and he wouldn't be tripping if he dated a rich nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. I don't like fucking people saying the N-word. Because you're automatically... You know what you're putting in my head anyway. This is an old joke that's our, our commentary that's been said. But fucking I hate that shit. I hate the N-word. Literally. The N-word. <laughs> the phrase. Fuck out of here. What are we going to do? Like... Oh... What are we going to do? gonna keep striving keep growing keep grinding because they're trying to like i was gonna briefly say they're trying to just erase hulk hogan's past achievements in every adam out of the history books if we're gonna do that for a wrestler who said nigger what are we gonna do about all the presidents that had fucking slaves what are we gonna do are we gonna take them out of the history books too i doubt it so let's let's just be consistent that's one thing this country is not it's never been consistent on policies and punishment. Fuck out of here, man. So let's end this fucking on a song and a positive note. Because I still drop in positive quotes. Bang, my nigga. You feel me now? And then we'll flip through my art book as we go. I dropped some throwbacks of fucking throwback Thursdays of... Heat Stroke, Cactus Jack's first CD, AT Dub, aka ATM's first CD, held by Sedan RIP, sir. Fucking, I showed that shit on Throwback Thursday. Picture me with hair in this bitch. And a four track recorder that I used to go goose on in the Shorebirds, my nigga. And a picture, eight by a, eight foot by five foot painting. It was the awesomest shit, man. I, and I said in this, I said in here, I don't honestly think I can paint like this again. I was I was going through a fucking manic episode when that shit cracked off. You feel me? So if it happens, it happens. Let's go ahead and share this quote by uh, Tyg and then play some music. My partner Tyg Daroff, prominent promoter, very talented artist, my brother from another. And that's how he gets it in. Sometimes loss can be your greatest gain. And let's reflect that back to... White men can't jump. Sometimes when you win, you really lose. And sometimes when you lose, you really win. And sometimes when you win, you really lose. And sometimes when you tie or some fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. What's on my platter right now? Let's play some of this fucking, uh, this song by, uh, Deep Cotton. We'll play a little bit of this. It's called Milk Dies. Lord Cash put me onto this. It's pretty fire. Some apple milk. And we'll go through my book. How cool. We ain't showing. Showing I'm on the floor. All alone, even when I'm not alone. I like to think that I'm alone. It's okay. Love can't save me anyway You're like a priest Teaching the deaf to pray Crumble down Every statue in this town I feel it now The darkness gathering like the clouds Deep inside Flesh from pool is flying by I wanna ride All the tears in your eyes I'm crying
dope, huh? That's about the biggest variety we've had in the playlist in the show in a long time. Wouldn't you say? Kimchi TV, ATM the Professional, WorldWildWild.com, I am KamaniKim.com, because I am. Thank you for tuning in once again, my friend. We'll come back, a little more regular shit. I just say what I say, man. Sorry for being so shiny. This ain't nothing but an ultra perm, my nigga. <laughs> Down Who can do it again? Who can? Who can? That's what I like to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. My mama said I got my art from my dad's side. It could be true, but she drew sticky for two. Yeah, I've been looking my biggest logo as heavy as a head that wears a crown now. But shit, mama, you got some talent in you now. Back did had that, but it's all cool, but now I rap. I do that. This could have been way better, cause shit, I felt like snapping, but the hook was so popping, I ain't even think about rapping this time. I'm like, y'all just gonna get this book. Blow the luck, this is the truth, and all y'all niggas is jerks. The worst than anything that ever came out his mouth. Who the fuck is it fucking with me? <laughs> Saying I'm the best? Yeah, that's what it's no, gonna no, be. No. No, no, I wasn't oh, ready, man, no. Whatever, no, it is what it is, man. Ready. One take Jake's on your motherfucking face. Ready. Super bird, bitch.